All right, guys, so now we're going to be talking to you about a couple of our uh, uh, stretches that we do pretty much every day here across the Cygnus, the uh, couch stretch and pigeon stretch. And I can give you a little reason to why behind. I mean, and simply, if we uh, spend a lot of time driving or sitting at a desk, our, our hip flexors and, and just hips in general just get chronically tight. And you come in here and you're trying to squat or jump or do things like that, and it just it leads to injury after a little while. So we really like to try to open up those hips every day we come in here uh, before we get into the actual workout. All right, so Allison's going to take us through the uh, couch stretch. This is a, a daily thing we do here. Starting out, I mean, depending on your mobility and capabilities, uh, you may not be doing what Allison's doing today, but we're, we're going to talk you through it like you will. All right, so starting out, we're going to get on all fours, and she's going to take one of her knees and shins all the way against the wall. I really want to emphasize getting that knee and chin against the wall like so. All right, so note she keeps that other leg down in front of her. But if our mobility allows, we can get our chest a little bit higher. We can swing that foot out in front of us to kind of get into a deep a bit of a lunge. And then from there, she's got her foam roller over there beside her if she needs a little bit of brace. But essentially, we want to try to get in a perfect world, get our back all the way against the wall. Now, this is really good. Uh, Allison is, has exceptional mobility. Not all of us are going to get right there, but we need to try to spend a little bit of time in the stretch up to one minute on each side. Just letting gravity do the work, opening up that hip, trying to get that chest a little bit more upright. And that's, like I said, it's going to stretch out that hip flexor a little bit. And uh, when we get into squatting or whatever we're doing for today, those hips are going to move a lot better. All right. So this is the couch stretch. The next one uh, we're going to move into is the pigeon. All right. So Alice, she's just going to come off the wall here a little bit. We're going to do the pigeon stretch. She's essentially getting down, shooting one foot out in front of her. We're going to try to get that, uh, the shin uh, perpendicular to her body here. So, and then uh, shooting that other leg back as straight as she can get it and then essentially letting gravity do the work. She's just going to lie down, get those elbows on the ground, just kind of relax. And again, the longer she lies here, the more gravity kind of does the work and lets those hips just kind of sink down. And it's getting a really gl good glute and IT band stretch there. Again, for the hip function we need a little bit later on in the workout, all right? So this is your pigeon stretch. So a couple other stretches we focus on a lot here are calf and wrists. Uh, we do a lot of squatting. We need that ankle mobility, getting that knee past the toe when we're doing our squats. And one of the best ways to kind of help facilitate that is a good calf stretch. We step on this calf stretch contraption right here, leaning forward, trying to keep that heel down, just leaning forward, a nice little calf stretch there. Uh, if we don't have this available, we can do this same thing just using a rig. We can just kind of come around. Uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Come around, just put that toe up on the rig, just kind of lean into it, get that heel on the ground, and just kind of relax. You need to probably spend at least probably 30 to 45 seconds holding these stretches to kind of get the effect that we're looking for, all right? So we would do that on both sides. Uh, the other one, wrist stretch. We do a lot of front rack stuff here, a lot of overhead stuff. We've got to have those wrists uh, primed and ready to go to bend, all right? So my favorite go-to right here, again, getting down on all fours, you're just going to kind of lean forward, hold this stretch for about 10 seconds, just like so, keeping those palms flat on the ground, then relax. And then we'll do that twice more. Again, we're going to accelerate this a little bit, but she's kind of leaning forward, going to hold it another 10 seconds, so on and so forth. Then we can turn those hands around and just kind of lean back and get a good stretch this way. And then to kind of reinforce that new range of motion we got, we're going to turn those hands back the way we had them. And we're going to do three circles each way. So, so basically just three circles around one way and then three circles around the other way. It's kind of reinforcing that new range of motion those wrists ready to go for all the overhead work we're going to do.